and today we're going to be doing a March book haul. So before you comment, didn't she already upload this video? Yes I did, but if you guys follow me on Twitter then you may remember I asked if you guys would like me to do two book hauls a month instead of one because I cannot stop. I am a savage and I cannot stop buying books no matter what. So there's just, the problem is I get an employee discount because I work at a bookstore and it is amazing but it is so dangerous because I just, I'm like, I can get them for so cheap. So I just buy all of the books. So that's what happened this month. Like I work at literally my favorite bookstore in the world, Chapters Indigo, and they surprised us with an extra employee discount for last weekend. So if you think I wasn't going to take advantage of that just because I bought a bunch of books last month, you are totally wrong. My last book haul was over 30 or something. Maybe it was over 20. It was a lot of books. And this one, once again, is a pretty sizable book haul. But we are just going to go with it. I'm going to start doing in the months when I can, when I buy enough, which is going to be most months. I'm going to start doing a book haul in the middle of the month and then a book haul at the end of the month. So that's kind of going to be like March book haul part one and this is March book haul part two. So I also have an unboxing for you guys that I'll be getting to at the end of the video. I have some lovely bookmarks to uh, unbox from two different companies that I'm very excited to see what I got. So without further ado, let's get into the books. So I'm going to start off with the like weird bookish thing. So the first one is a coloring book. This is the Wizard of Oz coloring book by my absolute favorite, favorite, favorite coloring book illustrator, Fabiana Atanagio. I have all of her coloring books except for one now. She has a Pinocchio one, but I don't think I'm going to get that one because I really like to color in pretty dresses and Pinocchio doesn't really wear a pretty dress. So I did get this one this past month and I just love it so much. It is so pretty. Like I love her illustrations because they are so beautiful. I've already kind of been diving into it a little bit. I actually finished this one, which is my fave, but I just love this one so much. I love how her illustrations have like big spaces for me to just color, 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 color. That is like my favorite thing in the world. And also I saw on her Facebook page that she's doing a Cinderella one, which I am so excited for. She also has a Beauty and the Beast one coming out, which I pre-ordered. Like I just love her stuff so much. So I was really excited to be able to get my hands on this one. Next up, I picked up this Disney's Alice in Wonderland and Illustrated Journey Through Time book. I just had to get this because I mean, come on. And it's funny because I was, I had been looking at it and then one of my managers said that she was going to show it to me. It's so funny because even my lovely managers at work know my obsession with Alice. Everyone knows. So I just had to pick this up and it is just so cool. I love it so much. It has like illustrations and it's basically just kind of showing everything Disney and everything Alice and I'm just like obsessed like come on this is the coolest thing and oh my god okay I need to stop but this is amazing and I love it and just yes I mean while we're on the topic of Alice I might as well show you that I picked up these so it had been 90 days since our last incident but it is now zero days since our last incident and the incident being me buying another edition of Alice in Wonderland I bought two this month I had gone a really long time without buying any so I was like and I had been working a lot lately so I was like you know what you've been working hard girl you treat your shelf so I treated my shelf and I got these and I'm so excited about them like they were pretty cheap so I'm very happy with that but this one was literally like three dollars and that's why I got it I like the pattern on this one and the colors of it so I'm happy I have this one to add to my collection this one just has the original John Tenniel illustrations in it but then this one right here someone had come in to work and they were returning a Wizard of Oz version like this and I was like the illustrations in this are beautiful and I really want it but I didn't end up buying it but I was like I wonder if they have an Alice one and of course they did so I had to get it so this is the Usborn Illustrated Originals edition and it's like a puffy hardcover which I enjoy the cover is beautiful I love the illustrations for it it's so cool like I'm really trying to collect editions that have different illustrators so then I actually have some variety to it and it's not just the exact same thing over and over again but I do really love this one and I'm just I'm never sad when I get another edition of Alice like come on it's my baby so yeah I got two I was going to get many more though so two is very reasonable and I say that is a win for me pat on the back for me also that brings it up to like 27 I don't actually know let's count 
Oh, I'm almost at 30. Now I have to go and buy another one because then I'll have 30. Like, I need an even number. All right, let's get into the other books before I literally just log on to chapters right now and get another one. So next up, I'm going to be talking about the arcs that I received this month. So first we have Geekerella by Ashley Poston. This was sent to me by Penguin Teen, so thank you so much to them for sending this to me. I was so pleasantly surprised by this book. I've read it. I talked about it in my wrap-up, so I will link that down below for you guys if you want to hear more thoughts, and I will be doing a full review for it. I just, I have I haven't figured out what I'm doing with reviews yet because I just I don't know but anyways this was a really cool Cinderella retelling like it's very true to the original Cinderella story or not like the original where their feet are chopped off not the Grimm Brothers one but the one that you're familiar with from Disney it was just awesome I loved the modern day setting I thought it was very well done and just a ton of fun like a really cute easy and heartfelt read it was just kind of really heartwarming not heartfelt really heartwarming so I enjoyed it a lot. And this is coming out on April 4th, so actually it's coming out the day before this video goes up. So this will be out when this video is up, so go and get your hands on a copy. These next few arcs all came from Indigo Books and Music, which is the bookstore that I work at, so thank you so much to them for sending this to me. The first one is Flame in the Mist by Renee Adier. This is a retelling of Mulan by the author of The Wrath and the Dawn. You guys may remember that duology, which was such a good duology. She has amazing writing style, and this one I actually started to read but I just couldn't get into it not because I wasn't enjoying it and it was bad by any means but I've just been working a lot so I've just been so tired and haven't really been able to like devote myself to a kind of intense more fantasy read I will definitely be picking it up again though because it's a Mulan retelling and it was so good what I did read I just really need something quick right now but it is just so great because I mean Mulan that's all I'm gonna say is Mulan I said it three times well four five I don't even know but yeah it's a Mulan retelling, just read it. So this is coming out on May 16th, so I really do need to read it because I'm trying to get all of my May arcs read so then I can do reviews for the ones that I want to before I leave for that whole entire month. But anyways, it's coming out May 16th, so stay tuned. Next up is Ramona Blue by Julie Murphy. This is coming out on May 9th, and it is all about this girl who is exploring her sexuality. She used to think she was lesbian, but now she's starting to question whether she might be bisexual. So it sounds like a really important and very cool story. I do really like Julie Murphy. She's the author of Dumplin' and I liked that book a lot so I do have high hopes for this one. Next up is Umberland by Wendy Spinelli. I think I'm saying that right. Probably saying it wrong but this is coming out on May 9th and it is an Alice in Wonderland retelling and I can't get enough of them so I just had to get my hands on this one and I'm very excited for it. I have really high expectations because it's an Alice in Wonderland retelling and I'm hoping I will not be let down. And the last arc that I got this month is the One Memory of Flora Banks, and this is by Emily Barr. It's very confusing because there's not, like, that's not a cover, it's just a quote on the cover. It says, you always remember your first kiss. Flora remembers nothing else. Dun dun dun! So I believe the premise of this one is that our main character, Flora, has amnesia. I'm not entirely sure on that because I do like to go into books not knowing too much, so that's kind of my plan for this one. And this one is coming out May something, maybe? I hate when they don't have the date on it. It's very inconvenient for me. It's coming out sometime in May. It doesn't say exactly when, but it's coming out in May, so stay tuned. Apparently that's my phrase of the day, stay tuned. I never say that. That's weird. Totally kidding, that was not the last arc that I got. I did this last video too. There's arcs that hide on me, but this last one, I swear it really is the last one this time, is Wonder Woman Warbringer by Lee Bardugo. I am so excited I was able to get my hands on a copy of this. It's coming out August 29th. Yeah, August 29th, and I'm so happy that I have a copy of it. I've never read like a superhero book so I do really like superhero movies. I like superheroes. I think they're really cool so I think that it could be cool in a book. I don't know. I mean I guess we'll see. It'll be very interesting that's for sure but oh this is a nice arc because it stays open. <gasps> lovely floppy paperback. I love floppy paperbacks. Anyways, I'm very excited for this. I think it's going to be fantastic. Lee Bardugo is the author of Six of Crows and the Grisha trilogy, and I just love her, so I'm very interested to see what she's going to do with this. So those are all of the arcs that I received this month. Thank you to everyone who sent them to me. Now I'm going to get to three books that I received in subscription boxes this past month. So I will link the unboxings for all of these down below if you wanted to go and check it out. But the first one is from Uppercase and that is Hunted by Megan Spooner. I'm so excited that I have a finished copy of this book because I loved this book so much and I was going to buy myself a finished copy because 
it is so shiny and I love shiny things like I've never said that in a video before but now I've had the opportunity to say it in like the past four videos I don't know but it is like a beautiful cover I loved this book a lot I will be doing a review for it once I decide what I'm doing with reviews I don't know I will do a review for it though but it was an amazing book and I just oh it's so shiny also it's a Beauty and the Beast retelling and that's all you really need to know it's amazing there are a ton of retellings in this book haul because I just have a ton of retellings I'm very overtired I've had a lot of coffee let's move on to the next book because I'm talking like a million miles a minute next up is the book that came in the March Owl Crate and that is Daughter of the Pirate King by Trisha Levenseller you may remember that I included this book in my most anticipated releases for winter 2017 video and I am so happy that I was able to get a copy in that box because I just think it sounds like it's so cool this girl is the daughter of a pirate king and she allows herself to be captured by enemy pirates it just sounds like it's going to have a really badass main female character and it's just going to be amazing I'm all about badass main female characters so also her hair is giving me like intense Merida vibes I think that's how you say it Merida Merida giving me intense Merida vibes so I'm quite excited and finally the book that I received in the March fairy loot strange the dreamer by Lainey Taylor in the beautiful just so gorgeous UK edition like it has blue edges come on it's amazing you guys may remember that I wasn't a huge fan of this book I got an arc of it and I just couldn't get through it I ended up DNFing it but I do really want to give it a second chance the writing was beautiful I just couldn't really sit down and immerse myself in the story because it's very slow and I tend to really like fast-paced reads so I think I might give this one a go in the summer when I have some more time to kind of just devote to it and just let myself take my time with it and immerse myself in the world so I don't know I just feel like it's a read that you really need to just be reading one book at a time and I like to read multiple books at a time so I will be giving this one another shot this summer probably and I'm hoping that I will really enjoy it also all three of these books are signed which is awesome so those are all of the books that I received from anyone in any way this past month thank you to everyone who sent me books now I'm going to get to the books that I bought myself because I felt like I just deserved it so first up we have Everland by Wendy Spinelli this is the author of Umberland which I mentioned quite a few books ago when I was talking about arcs that I got but this is a Peter Pan retelling and this is actually the first one in this series I believe it's companion novels but I still wanted to pick this one up because I've never read a Peter Pan retelling I love Peter Pan I have quite a few on my TBR there's another one that I'm going to be talking about right after this but I also I've heard that Tiger Lily is a really good one so that's one that I want to pick up but we had this one in stock at my store so I really wanted to pick it up and the cover of it is beautiful it is so gold and so shiny you guys know I love the shiny and it's just amazing it also really makes me laugh that it's a Peter Pan retelling and the author's name is Wendy that's like my favorite so as promised the other Peter Pan retelling that I got this month is Unhooked by Lisa Maxwell and literally all I know about it is that it's a Peter Pan retelling that is all I know about both of those books and I'm just all over it. So this totally happened last time I did a book haul in my mid-March book haul but there was another book that was sent to me by someone that was hiding so I'm sorry but I was also sent Mad Miss Mimic by Sarah Henstra. This was sent to me by Penguin Teen so thank you so much them for sending this to me. This I don't really know much about it. I believe it takes place in Victorian era England. I know that I read the synopsis when they were like hey do you want this and I was like yeah sure and I think the reason that I said yes was because it was Victorian era England because I'm like all about that life so yeah I plan on reading this very soon and also I may have included this in my last book haul that I did but I can't really remember so we're throwing it in here anyways so now getting back to the books that I did actually buy for myself next up we have Emily of New Moon by L.M. Montgomery this is the author of Anne of Green Gables I've only read Anne of Green Gables by her but she does have a whole Anne of Green Gables series I just haven't read it because I know that she didn't really want to write it so I'm kind of like I don't know I'll probably end up reading it eventually but this one I believe is a spin-off from that series honestly I just kind of picked it up because I think the cover is beautiful the book spine is beautiful and it was just kind of all about it I really know nothing about it I just think it's a spin-off I know the author and I love her it's a Canadian story all about that life so 
I don't really know. Next up, I picked up Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them by J.K. Rowling. I picked this up just because I like the magical creatures are my favorite part of Harry Potter, and I loved the Fantastic Beasts movies so much. So I decided to pick this one up. I got the screenplay earlier this month, and I included that in my last book haul. But these just came out, and I decided to pick it up. It's like the reissue of the old ones. I do kind of prefer this is the UK slash Canadian edition. I do kind of prefer the US edition of the Hogwarts Library one so I might pick those up but yeah I have this one. This video once again is going to be super long because my book hauls just go on forever and I'm really sorry about that but next up is The Education of Margot Sanchez and this is by Lilian Rivera. I've heard really great things about this book. I think the cover looks beautiful. I really don't know a lot about it. I just know that it looks like it's going to be really good so I picked it up. Next up is Long May She Reign by Rhiannon Thomas. This one I believe is another one that I included in my most anticipated releases for winter 2017 video. All I know about it is that it's a fantasy standalone which I think is really cool and my friend read it and she really enjoyed it and she said it's a low fantasy as opposed to a high fantasy and that's kind of why it works as a standalone. So yeah I think it seems really cool and I am quite excited. Next I picked up 13 Little Blue Envelopes by Maureen Johnson. I picked this up because apparently it's about European travel and since I'm leaving soon for my trip across Europe I just want to read all about European travels so yeah. And the final book before I get to the unboxings is The Shadow Queen by CJ Redwine. This is a retelling I believe of Snow White but the second book is a retelling of Rumpelstiltskin. It's called The Wish Granter and they're companions I believe and I was just really intrigued by it because I mean I love retellings and I am all about that in the springtime so I just wanted to pick it up. That's not really a good reason. Also it has a beautiful book map. Beautiful and on the um, hardcovers I believe this one is red but I know that the other one is blue. It's beautiful. I love it but yeah. So those are all of the books that I got this month and now I'm going to get into the unboxings. So the first unboxing is from Till and Dill. They have an Etsy shop where they sell bookmarks and all these cool little uh, postcards and stuff like that and I actually received them in a fairy loot and they are so cool. Like the material they're made with is amazing so when they contacted me I was all about it. So let's dive in. Also I'll leave all their information linked down below for you guys so you can check it out. They put a little postcard. Oh that's so cute and it's so pretty. Oh, that's so nice of them. I love that. And I love how it's all wrapped up. It's so cool. So first off, we have some postcards. They told me to pick out some bookmarks and I didn't pick out any postcards. So this will be cool. So let's see. I just love how it's all wrapped up and I, like I don't want to ruin it. Oh, she has a hedgehog. I love him. So we have this little postcard and it has like this fall fairy. That looks like it's a winter fairy. Summer or spring, I'm assuming. Spring or summer. I'm not really sure which one's which, but these are so pretty. I love them. I love the illustrations. Like, they are actually amazing. So, there's that one, which is spring or summer. This one's fall. Then we have winter. And then we have, once again, spring or summer. I think this one's spring and then the other one's summer, but it could be very wrong. But, and they even have, like, watercolor on the back, too, which is really cool. These are so pretty. All right, now getting to the bookmarks. They came in, like, packs. So, this one is the pop art pack pack which is so cool like they're so well done I love the illustrations on it and like I said they feel so nice like they're soft which I love and then we have the seasons one which that actually matches the postcards that I got I'm trying to show you these but I'm struggling yeah so there's the season one right there so those match the postcards and they're so pretty I love 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 them and then we have these ones which are like woodland creatures which which you guys probably know by now that I love animals and squirrels are like my best friend and I's favorite animals because we spiritually identify with them so I had to pick these ones up and they are beautiful and then we have these ones are just some pretty little watercolor ones and pink blue and purple which are very nice and finally we have these ones which I think we're just thrown in here I don't remember re requesting these but they're kind of like spacey ones which is really cool oh I love them so much these are so pretty so thank you so much to Till and Dill for sending all those to me. They are amazing and I can't wait to use them in all of my books. So if you guys want to check them out, I will leave their link down below for their Etsy shop. I highly recommend you check it out because they have tons of awesome stuff on there. And the final unboxing comes from Jamie Lee over at Arter Nonsense Designs. She has a shop where they have all sorts of different prints and bookmarks and they look amazing and I can't wait to see what I got. I'm very excited. So yee, let's open the print first because I'm quite excited. Look at how cute it's wrapped and it has the 
open me otter. I love the otter. <gasps> this is so cute. It's an Alice print. So it says it's no use going back to yesterday because I was a different person then. And I love, love, love that quote. Oh my God, that is so beautiful. I love this. Oh. All right, now getting into the bookmarks. <gasps> oh my God, this is adorable. Oh, I love this so much. So first off, we have this one that says my channel name. Oh my God, this is amazing. Look at that. It has like little Alice characters. So it has Alice over there with the rabbit and then we have the rabbit and books. Oh my god, this is adorable, and I'm telling you right now, my dad is gonna want a copy of this. This is so pretty. Oh my god, I love this. So then we also have this one right here, which says BookTube made me do it, which is like so accurate. I love that. Oh my god, this one with all the Alice characters. Her illustrations are so pretty. Oh, I love it. And then this one, which is a quote from Sarah J. Mass in Empire of Storms, the world will be saved and remade by the dreamers. I love that. Oh my god, these are so pretty. Thank you so much. Oh my god, I love these. So I will leave the link to Otter Nonsense Designs Etsy shop down below. These are so amazing. Oh, I love it. Thank you so much for sending them to me. So that is all for today's book haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, I will leave the links to Till and Dill and Otter Nonsense Designs Etsy shops down below. I highly recommend that you check both of them out. They are both really, really awesome. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!